right, back again. I didn't realise it was going to spread over three parts. Anyway, this is pretty much the last of my collection I've got here. I've got, and I'll start from going this side. Just move over here. What I've got here is a Super Pure Pure watch, and it's an, an old watch. And this is really, really good. It's quite... It's something that I really, really like to have, actually. Um, I saw it and I thought, ooh, this looks good. I'm going to buy it. And... Um, I'm not going to wear it because it's too small for my wrist, unfortunately, but it's a nice little bit of memento to have. And seeing as it's Owl's birthday today, being uh, July 22nd, I suppose it's a good tribute to um, the protagonist of Pure Pure. <laughs> um, it's a really, really nice thing. Of course, I'm going to move over here to this. Um, I've got two portable um, Pure Pure um, devices here. One's the Puyurin, or Puyurin. That's made by Tiger Electronics, and this one is one made by L Spirits. Now this one's quite interesting, and what I'll do is I'll see if I can do a video, or like, I'll do a video of these at some point soon so that you kind of get the understanding of this, but this LCD unit, um, actually has a bit of an icon about itself, and, um, yeah, I'll, when I put a video of that, you'll see what I mean by icon of itself. I'll give you a clue. Think Pew Pew Fever. That's enough on that one. It hasn't got fever change or anything. It's a pretty nice unit. The pool in here, I really like. Uh, it's a bit faded, obviously. It's well used. And, oh, well, it's a treat. You know, still turn it on. Still see it can change what you want. And that's pretty much it. Move it left and move it right. Because it's folding. You can do that. I actually can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll turn that off for now, but it's 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 pretty cool, it still works. Nice, nice, cheap and cheerful. We'll go over to here now. This is the All About Pure Pure book, and um, this book is fantastic because Um it obviously has got like a how-to guide, it's got rundowns on the different versions you can probably see here. Um, you've got the Famicom version, MSX version, PC-98 version, PC Engine, um, Game Boy, Game Gear, all that, whatnot. Nice, colourful picture at the front. It's also got one on all about Street Fighter and a couple of others, so it's it's pretty cool. It's got all the contents here, like all about Pure Pure, different versions, etc. Storyline, how to play, all that, whatnot. And um, as you can actually see here... Don't know if you can, but I'll put it says here Pew Pew in America and it's on page 111. And you're thinking, huh? Does this book actually mean to say that um, they're actually going to release this game in America? But I'll fast forward to that page because um, this page is actually very, very cool. It turns out that they knew about Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine like we did. It says here Pew Pew in America and it's got Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, screenshot, screenshot screenshot and a little pro saying that um you know this is this magazine can reveal that pure pure has been released in america under the name dr box me Bee machine it plays very similarly to pure pure on the mega drive it's released on the mega drive or you know over there in america's the sega genesis and um a little rundown on what it is and it is a it is pretty cool because this obviously has you know things on background music and stuff like that Tells you the different versions. You've got the PC Engine version here. You go back. you got Super Pure Pure. Uh, Pure Pure. Now this is interesting because as if you mention, if I, if, if you can recall part one, I said that um, in, the, is it in the Game Gear version, this is the Game Gear version, um, it's got a touch screen here, it's Pure Pure, but if you, if I put it in my Game Gear, it actually comes out as Puzzle Kid. So whether there's a, a language checking chip in the game or not is, I don't know, but I think it's pretty interesting that they would mention something like that. So, you've got the PC-98 version, you've got the um, Mega Drive version, you've got the, oh, what version is this one? Arcade version, MSX2 version, which is the first one, and that was released on the, if I remember rightly, I do believe it was released on the, oh yeah, it says here. 25th of October, 1991, the first version of it, and you've got the, the Favicon version here, which is pretty much the same. But this book is also really good because it also has 
sheets music at the back of it for all of the tracks that are played in, in the Pure Pure game, including the two that were on the Game Gear version. You've got Final Pure Pure there, Victory Pure Pure, Undo Pure Pure, Sunset of Pure Pure, Toy, Sorrow, um, the Victory theme there, Warning, the Quest of Pure Pure, which is used in the 98 version, the Game Gear Pure title theme, and the Game Gear Pure ending theme, and the Game Gear Nazi Pure theme. It's really cool, and obviously at the back it's got it's advertising Mardo by Guitar One on the Game Gear and Nazapuyo 2. I don't have any of the Nazapuyo games nor do I the Mardo by Guitar games. This one here is the Pure Pure Su Keteba and How To Guide and um, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Sleeve falling off. And this one is um, the tr traditional Japanese way of reading a book from uh, left to right as opposed to this one being right to left as you can see. And um, Nice little inlet, Ma Satan, Rulu, Al, Pupia Suketevan. Something about Smash Court in the inlet there. And this obviously has uh, Manzai demos, other stuff. <laughs> I can't hold this properly. <laughs> Character information, how to beat them, etc. And somewhere at the back here. There you go. Everything you need to know about rate limit, the maths involved in working out damage and such. And extras, which I think is really, really cool. And a bit of a manga as well. <laughs> Very cool. And one of the Mario 64 is still to come. I haven't taken these out, but I do have two of these, which I do do have taken out, but they're away somewhere and I can't get to them at the moment. These are Rulu plush dolls, because Rulu is my favourite character in the Pew Pew series. That's a 6 inch one from Ban Presto, this is the 8 inch one from Sega, and this one is where she's standing on a purple pool. Yeah, it's really nice. I like both. And, um, oh, there's one thing that I haven't reviewed, which I'm going to do now, as you look at um, my floor. Here we go. Pure Pure 15th anniversary for the Wii. Yes, I can play this thing because of um, Gecko OS. To all you Wii brewers out there, know what that is. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, this is the full game, got the disc, nicely well used, stuff in here, you've got like the registration card, instruction book and all that whatnot. And this is a real sweet game to play, I really like this game. Graphics are really good, music is really good, it's just really good overall to be perfectly honest with you. Um, it does have a Wiimote mode as you can see, but I've never really wanted to try it out because I've only got it for the multiplayer and the fact that when I have mates around it's better than having the DS version because not every one of my friends has a DS so yeah that's pretty much my pure pure collection in a nutshell I do have a couple of other things I've got pictures that are drawn for me from a particular friend and a Rulu t-shirt which I've made I say made I actually bought it pre-made I guess I'll get it out for you now that is sweet, if I do say so myself. Just sit in the back in the wardrobe. So yeah, that's my Pure Pure collection. I'm gonna have to um, put everything away now. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize I had so much, to be perfectly honest with you, but I am lacking some games. I'm also lacking uh, Kirby's Ghost Trap or Kirby's Avalanche. Preferably Ghost Trap, because that's the PAL version that I need on the Super Nintendo. I haven't got any of the NASA Pure series on the Game Gear or the Super Nintendo, I haven't got Pure Pure Fever for the Dreamcast, I don't have the PlayStation 2 versions, obviously I don't have a PSP, so I don't have the uh, PSP versions, I don't have an Xbox, I don't have Pure Pure Fever for the Xbox, I don't have Pure Pure Fever for the GameCube, but I don't particularly want it, because it's, uh, it's really, really bad. It's actually worse than um, Pocket Pure Pure, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Controls are so tacky, it's unbelievable. Um... There are a couple of games that I am missing of the actual Pure Pure collection. I did see an FM Towns version, but I uh, didn't have the f uh, funds to pick it up, which is a bit of a shame. Obviously, I'm lacking the MSX version, Famicom version, um, pretty much all the other versions that are out there. Can you believe that Pure Pure was ported 14 times? <laughs> it's the most ported game. I think it's 14 times. It might have been 14, 15, 14 or 16 times, but it is the most ported game out there. Yeah, anyway, running out of time and I'm rambling, so just wanted to show you the Pure Pure collection. Sorry that's in three parts, <laughs> but if something else interesting comes up, I'll um, put up a video about it. So, ah, thanks for watching. Peace.